Alright everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Go Retro. I am uh, I'm Lieutenant Dessler and today's game is Descent. This is from the DOS era prior to Windows 2000 when um, when, game, when DOS based games were no longer supported. Um, I may actually need to check that. DOS games. Unsupported. But I thought I was right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Go Retro. I'm Lieutenant Dessler, and today we will be going on an adventure in space. Um, this is Descent. This came from the MS-DOS era, uh, right before the, um, the fall of MS-DOS in the Windows 2000 era, um, when Windows 2000 came about, um, it, MS DOS was not part of the source code. It actually wasn't part of the code in general. So a lot of the games that people had played previously uh, would no longer run. Um, this is from uh, Parallax software in the years 94 up into 95 um, and further because there is a Descent 2 and there is a Descent 3. Um, this is the first, this is the full game, this is not the shareware that a lot of people had played um, back in the 90s, um, but this is, this is the full run. Um, you, you, what you'll see is probably something that I really shouldn't be doing, but I'm going to do it anyways. It's going to uh, I'll, I'll show you. I, I I play this game not for scores, not for um, not for points. I actually play this for my own my own entertainment, and I hope that you guys um, enjoy this as well. Welcome to Descent. PTMC Station Shiva, Earth Orbit Post Terran Minerals Corporation Headquarters. Briefing zero six thirty GMT. And apparently, our defense robots did not function to specifications. Our Pluto mining stations are now in unknown hands. Worthless bureaucrats. They replace us all with robots given half the chance. Briefings are awful. Air is too sterile for human lungs. Endless ele electric blue schematics in the eyes and a suit from post Terran. Whose droning voice would make Armageddon sound boring? They needed me. They had the equipment I needed. Why does this fool keep babbling? We have an Israeli made Pyro GX uh, specially modified for this mission. Fine, let me go. Some fighter jocks worship their hardware, but I'm not the religious type. The idiot giving the lecture was practically drooling. The hardware was pretty impressive though. AV 42 Avenger concussion missiles, pair of EG 435 industrial argon cyanide lasers. Illegally modified. Just the way those hardware junkies like them. Do I really need to know the serial numbers? You will have multiple objectives on this mission. You mean contradictory objectives, don't you? Destroy all infected mines, keep the invading force from spreading further, but be sure to rescue any survivors, destroy as many robots as possible, and each one of those objectives is the most important. Why did they have to design this mission by committee? This can only be done by the Material Defender in Pseudo. Translation from Bureaucraties. Those those hosed and they're hosed and I'm the only one who can cut their losses. That's the trouble with working for the largest bureaucracy in human history. Hail the glorious post-hair in Merrill's Corporation. Huzzah. 
Our remaining defense robotics have smuggled replacement parts and weapons into the mines. At present, the invader has not been alerted. We are confident that you will have the advantage of a surprise attack, at least until you enter the mines. At that point, we should expect a heavy counteroffensive. I suppose I should be thankful for small mercies. Somehow, I had the feeling that I'd have no advantages at all. The strategic weak spot of our mines is their fusion reactors. They're deep in each mine and completely automated. Automated? Jeez. Automated. Normally, we would be able to blow them from orbit, but all the uplinks to our stations have been severed at the source. Knocking out the reactors will cause a system-wide meltdown within a matter of seconds. And when I say system-wide, I mean complete vaporization. Getting out before the mine blows should be the foremost on your mind. And foremost on mines of any poor slobs I haven't rescued yet. I just realized how cruel these people really are. Then again, Big Space Corporation. Kinda reminds me of Whaling Yutani. The information we have on the enemy is rather sketchy. Hmm, PTMC intelligence comes through again. Big surprise there. Actually, that's like most intelligence agencies. Why? Sorry. <laughs> that was me and me. The infected mines now appear to be manufacturing new robots for its needs. Most are based on the designs of common mining mechs. But expect to see completely new ones as well. Whatever has invaded the mines appears to adapt rapidly. While none of while none of the initial in, initial internal monitor systems are responding, defense satellites have spotted a few on the mod of the modified mechs near the surface. Here's the latest information from PTMC intelligence. Class one drone, standard PTMC uh, automated scout robot, size three meters, two MR pulse rock cutters, threat minimal. Standard utility bot, apparently modified for combat, should pose little threat alone, but it could be troubling groups. I'd like to point out that, graphically, this game is very, very um, shape-orientated. It's At the time, there was no smooth spots. It's a lot of harsh angles, harsh lines. It's, it's, it's very, very angular. I mean, granted, this is one of the robots, but in terms of the design, it's... I guess it could be... Aggressive. I guess that's the way that they designed it. Class 2 drone, PTMC automated scout robot, 4 meters, 2 argon welding lasers, threat average. Aggressive one cornered, relatively weak weapons, but fires rapidly. Again, sharp angles, very, very shape driven, like there's nothing smooth. But then again, in 95, in the mid 90s, uh, when you see, when you see these games, they're they're very, very blocky. I mean, you don't see anything really change until about the 2000s. In, in games like this, anyways. Medium lifter. Modified PTMC maintenance robot. 5 meters, 2 diamond plated swing arms, threat high. Normally used to burrow through porous rock recon cameras have witnessed this robot shredding anything in sight, including the hostages. For a 3D game, this is probably one of the first few that I played before I jumped into um, uh, Duke Nukem, but Duke Nukem wasn't truly a 3D game, it was kind of 2D with a 3D element. I mean, same with Doom, same with all the big games that came out, including uh, Quake. It's, but I think Quake was a little bit more 3D than, it, than, um, than Doom was. Um, this game also has bright colors, I mean, the uh, the engines on the back of these things, that bright ass triangle is just, it's so sharp. Anyways, continuing on. Small Hulk, modified PTMC mining robot, 5 meters, 2 heavy argon lasers, threat medium, standard bore robot, tough and agile. I'm trying to think of where I... You know what? This reminds me of MechWarrior, to be honest. A floating MechWarrior. <laughs> Medium Hulk, modified PTMC, mining robot, four, 6 to 8, 2 missile launchers, threat high. Heavily armed for explosive deployment, deep in mind, slow moving but very dangerous. Spider, processing robot, 8 meters, 3 mass driver rifles, threat high. These mechs were designed to pick up rubble for processing in their body cavities. We have no further info on these robots. 
Ooh, standard emergency exits. Hardwire to open in the event of reactor failures. Locating the exit hatches before destroying reactors would be wise. I wonder why. Safely pilot piloting a corp ship waste barge is starting to sound really good right now. Most of our information is sketchy at this point, and we will continue to analyze the data you acquire and keep updated as we keep you updated as we can. Be aware that we have witnessed advanced intelligence in many of these mechs. Be sa it's safe to assume they will continue to develop new weaponry and behaviors as you progress through the course, which we'll see. But of course, you'll see the real evidence soon enough. I suppose if they were any more encouraging, they'd be shooting me right now. We are aware from your record in putting down the human's first mining strike that you can get difficult jobs done. First, he tries to scare me, then he flatters me. The least they could do is bring someone else in to play good cop. Who does he think I am? Just because I killed people doesn't mean I'm stupid, typical PT... I mean, doesn't mean I'm stupid. Typical PT... MC stiff. I imagine that his face would look better with my fist buried in it. Much better. Though then again, I kind of have to agree. I'd want to put my fist in his face too. If you pull us off PTMC, we'll pay you uh, triple your usual compensation. Now in trade. PTMC only throws money around when they're sincerely scared. You'll also earn high recognition indeed, but recognition doesn't improve the situation. You will purge the inner planets and swing outbound. Heading for Pluto, you will be able to rearm at the orbital PTMC processing stations. Nothing but reinforcements. This is not good. I wonder who was sent before they got around to drawing my name out of the PTMC database. Someone who wasn't ready for the task. I doubt you're aware of this, but the military division performs advanced weaponry development in several of our mines. The Pyro GX has been modified to make use of any new technology you find. It's apparent you'll need everything you can get to eliminate this threat. Threat to your salary, you mean? The only reason PTMC hires people like me is to ensure its undaunted financial future. And we feel we should... We f and we feel you should know that intelligence reports indicate the, con the convergence point of the robot invasion forces Earth. My stomach turned again. You'd think they could get to the important part at the start of the briefing. Of course, to PTMC, their minds are the important part. I keep forgetting that. That is all, Material Defender. Prepare for descent. Oh, that was a long reading. But I, I like stuff like this because when I was younger, I never actually sat through and I read the story. I never knew the story of descent. I never read through the data, never read through the mission briefing. I didn't do any of it, so this is a first for me, as well as I hope for a first for you in a long time that you've probably seen this, so... Let's get to it! Report to the main hangar at 0830 for immediate dropship... Oh, ship prep and launch. Proceed to Lunar Outpost MN0012 for level 1 descent and insertion. Contact with outpost lost two days ago. Intelligence ind indicates low infestation. Destruction of primary reactor core is imperative. Be aware of hostage si situations and proceed with caution. And now this is where the fun begins. Why didn't I do that right? and concussion missiles do, 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 do. like I said earlier I play this game strictly for the fun not for the score and it's it's an old game if I were to spend the entirety of my time in this 
I would probably be making each of these videos um, crazy long. Each of the videos would probably be like half an hour long because I would take the time uh, to go around. I would take the time to um, Ah, oh, there we go. Spin around. I would take the time to make sure that, you know, I didn't die. Plus, it's fun to wander around with hyper-powered weapons. I mean, who wouldn't? Yoink! Nope. Nah, that's not the one that I want. Oh, it's supposed to be a smart missile! Is it not dead? Oh, it is. the games of old back in the mid 90s. This is one of the ones that I think was probably as popular to play than so many other stuff. And this is a game to... I prefer to play this on a mouse and keyboard, mainly because I don't have a joystick. <laughs> Supposed to go there. Nope. Thank you. Anyways, this video has gone on a little, a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but that is okay. Um, yay! Level one complete. Lunar outpost destroyed. I know I got no points, but um. This game is one of my childhood games. I don't know how many of you played this or showed your kids this. I was actually introduced to, to this game by my uncle um, when he used to take care of me. And uh, I just love playing through the entirety of all the levels and all the insanity. My, my uncle's actually a better pilot than I am. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, I know that I have, and I'm looking forward to finishing this series. Um, one mission per uh, per episode. So uh, the only warning that I have about this game is if you get motion sick, uh, please take care of yourself. Don't watch the game too long. My flying skills are. Um, are a little out there. I, because I'm used to 
this kind of movement, I, I don't have a problem. But some people may find that um, the, the, the rotations and the movement of the ship is a little bit much for them. So if you find that you are starting to get nauseous, please pause the video, get yourself some water, get, get yourself some air, and take care of yourself. Anyways, that's it for this episode of uh, Let's Go Retro Descent, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.